This video is sponsored by Gold Resource Corporation. Once upon a time, we used gold, or paper that represented safely stored gold, as money. It worked well for thousands of years, partly because gold is independent and partly because it keeps its purchasing power. An ounce of gold buys you as much food, clothing and energy as it did 50 or 150 or 1,550 years ago. Compare that to modern money, which seems to buy you less and less each year. A hundred years ago, when the Federal Reserve Bank was formed, a dollar would buy you this much oil. Fifty years ago, it bought you this much. Now, it buys you this much. That's not very much, is it? In fact, in the hundred years since the Federal Reserve Bank was formed to protect the currency, the purchasing power of the dollar has fallen by this much. Why did governments stop using gold? In 1914, the British and German governments were committed to various spending programmes and World War I, a war that probably needn't have happened, and neither had the money or gold to pay for it. So they took their countries off the gold standard and, free of its restraints, printed the money they needed. In 1971, the American government was committed to various spending programmes and Vietnam, a war that probably needn't have happened. And it didn't have the money or gold to pay for it. So it took America off the gold standard and, free of its restraints, printed the money it needed. Sound familiar? If governments didn't have the power to run up deficits, these wars could never have happened. There wasn't the gold to pay for them. The bill is eventually paid by the people through the stealth tax that is currency devaluation by inflation. Now the world operates under a system of money and credit known as fiat. It's the law that what we use as money be money. The government and its banking agencies have the power to issue money, but no one else may do so. Unlike gold, of which there is a finite amount in the world, with this fiat system, there is no limit to how much money can be created, so inflation becomes inevitable. Look at the mess the UK and Germany got the world into after leaving the gold standard in 1914. World War I, German reparations, Weimar inflation, the rise of Hitler, and so on. Look at the mess the world has got itself into since 1971 when this fiat system became the global norm. An endless sea of wars, debt, poverty, social inequality, economic bubbles, rampant consumerism and environmental rape. None of which could ever have happened to anything like the same extent with that little bit of discipline and restraint imposed by gold. The ability to issue money is too much power for governments, banks, anybody, however well-intentioned. The best way to stop the abuse of power is to spread it as thinly and widely as possible. That's why we need to get back to a sound system of money. Unlike any bank, any corporation, any government or any body, gold really is independent. That video was sponsored by Gold Resource Corporation. For more information about our gold mining operations, please visit goldresourcecorp.com.